Kerim'i Kudüs ve Rabbim'e emanet. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the days of Ahir Zaman. This is the days and the nights and the weeks and the months and the years of the Ahir Zaman. Maybe it's not going to be years, maybe it's not going to be months, maybe the Qiyamat is going to happen tomorrow or tonight. But definitely we are in the Ahir Zaman. Never forget that. With all your plannings, with all your thinkings in life, never forget that we are living in the Ahir of the Ahir Zaman. The Holy Prophet والسلام, He has warned us, his nation, about the signs of the Ahir Zaman and what to do in the Ahir Zaman. The signs, small and big, they have come. But we're saying majority of the Muslims, they are still sleeping. They are still waiting for the spring. We had Arab spring. They are still waiting for the spring. We say winter is coming, winter went. Still they are waiting. What is causing the Ummah now to fall into such a deep gaflat where they are going to go against to the words of their Prophet They are going to go against the words of his waris, of his inheritors. Huh. Of course, it is one of the signs of the Ahir Zaman that the friends of Allah, those ones who are able to guide you through this mess from here to Mawla, they pull themselves back. And now what appears, it is not the reality. What appears are the uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. And the real sheep, they will come in wolves' clothing. And didn't our grand sheikh say to our sheikh, you're going to appear time to time wearing what? Wolves' clothing. And you're going to go. Maybe Shah Afani did that, maybe he did not do that. So now people, they are looking at us, looking to the Ahlil Haq. They are going to say, who are these people? Why are they not like other people? Other people are just talking about love, talking about unity, talking against to terrorism, talking about everything. Why are these people not saying the same? You think we are not talking about love, but we are not using your language. You think we're not talking about unity, but we're not using the language of these uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. You think we're not standing up against to tyranny in any form? We are, but we're not using the language of the hypocrites. We're using the language of the sheep in wolves' clothing. And for that reason, so many who are not believing in the signs of the Ahir Zaman, they are not understanding that they are going to get attacked. They are going to run away because they are saying, I want sweet, you know. Why are you giving us sour? Why are you yelling at us? Why are you giving us a bitter? We need sweet more than anything. But we say sweet is going to kill you. And if that child is running up to the window and he's going to jump down from the window and you are seeing, you're not going to say in such a sweet voice, oh my son, please walk away. You're going to scream. So, Eulia Allah, they scream and they warn the nation. Those who don't scream to warn the nation, there's a big question mark if they are the real inheritors of the prophets because every prophet screamed to their nation. But those who are not screaming to their nation to say, beware of shaitan, beware of your ego, beware of the Dajjal 
and the Dajjalic lifestyle, they're not screaming. Big question mark whether they are inheritors of the prophets or not. Doesn't matter how they look. Doesn't matter if they swallow the whole Quran, they're able to recite everything perfectly. It does not matter. Because what matters now it is the inside, it is not your form. So these are the days of the Ahir Zaman. But we're watching the nation, they're not moving in these days as if it is the Ahir Zaman. They are moving as if it is just the beginning. But we're saying, don't you see? Things are quickly going, wrapping up to the end. Don't you know? This world is like an old woman. Sick old woman. And everywhere we are seeing this world, it is being sick. We are seeing the skies, they are angry at the man. The earth, they are angry at the man. The water is angry at the man. The animals, they are angry at the man. Everything is getting upset with the mankind. But mankind, they are busy being firauns to each other. Busy being nemruts to each other. From the small ones to the big ones. From individuals, yes, to governments. And if the believer is not standing up, if those who say we are the friends of Allah, they are not standing up. If those who say we are the inheritors of the Prophet, they are not standing up to forbid what is evil and to encourage what is good, We should put a question mark there. Because that is farce for a believer. Our Shah has lived all his life. One man. He stood up against individuals. He stood up against corporations. He stood up against regimes. He spoke the truth. One man. He had nothing around him. That was a Shah following the sunnah of Sultan al-Awliya. That was a sheikh that he warned the leaders, not only of different nations, he warns the leaders of organizations, leaders of the religions, and he warned them to stop supporting the kingdom of shaitan. And he spoke the truth. But these ones, these Wolves in sheep's clothing. They are not warning anyone anymore. As if the danger it is past. Huh. Never forget. This is Ahir Zaman. There is confusion everywhere. Hold on to the ones who bring us out from this confusion. We are thankful for our share. If we did not meet our share, definitely we'll be more confused than anyone else. Even if you say you belong to Tariqat, or you're following this Sheikh, or you're following this Saint, or you're following this Sultan. Because confusion is coming up from there. Separation is starting from there. I remember Sheikh Effendi. Long time ago, he spoke. And he saw a sign that time. A clear open sign, the Prophet was saying that it is uh, the big war is coming, the end of times it is coming. And he told me, it says, before anything is going to happen, before this big war is going to happen, there is going to be a clear separation between Haq and Batil. Those who are supporting Haq and those who are supporting Batil. It doesn't matter if they call themselves Muslims, Christians or Jews, believer or unbeliever, Wahhabi or Sufi. It doesn't matter what form they come. It doesn't matter what the form. It is the spirit that matters. There is going to be a separation. And it says it's going to start inside of Islam. And within Islam is going to start inside of the tariqats and out of the 40, 40 tariqats is going to start with this tariqat. There is going to be a separation and we're living those days. There.
Alhamdulillah, we have separated. We have separated ourselves from the confusion of this Ahir Zaman to be on top of this mountain. That is correct. We have separated ourselves from the lifestyle of Dajjal and running up to follow the lifestyles of the Allah. That is correct. We have separated ourselves from all others and just following our Shaykh, taking the direction from Sultan and Awliya. That is correct. But we are asking that may we stay in this way, supporting Haq. That is our wish, to live by that and to die with that. <laughs> that our work, that our families, that our children, That our thoughts, our actions, our intention is only for that. It is not to come to the top of the mountain and to fall into another dunya. May Allah forgive me. May Allah make it easy for us. May Allah raise the station of our Shaykh higher. May his feet always be on our neck. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha. Amin.